starting to affect his vision a little bit. And he was uh, almost 11, so they came to the house for us and put him down. But meanwhile, this is the same place, but it was the Guilford one. Frenchie sent me to him. We go to him, and they did all these so-called tests. You know, they look in his ears, basically. And uh, at that point, uh, he was in there maybe 15 minutes. I couldn't go in with him because it was the time of the, uh, the COVID scare going on. And uh, they said, no, he needs surgery. Both ear canals have to come out completely. He's going to lose his hearing. And uh, we're talking between ten and $12,000. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more if he has to stay overnight or two. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Now, it's what's best for the animal, really, you know. And if you have animals, you know what I'm talking about. They're, the, they're family members, and that's all there is to it. You know, uh, sometimes they're better family members. <laughs> Now, we didn't want him to suffer either, so if it was going to help him, you know, this is something we would we'd do. But uh, we started thinking about it, and Frenchie gave us some eardrops to say, well, try these and, and, and until we make your mind up and blah, 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 blah. Well, we started using these eardrops, and Darlene was doing ear wash right around dinner time, and then around... Bedtime, you know, they would do the uh, medicine, eardrops. And every other day she'd go in there with Q-tips and wipe out the dirt and stuff like that. And uh, the canal is opening. They're still closed, but they're open now, you know, uh, to where you can get in there with a Q-tip. And uh, at that point, uh, he hasn't had an ear infection since. So, uh, you know, screw Frenchie. So we don't go to her anymore. And I, I felt bad not going to her anymore, but it's just not going to happen, you know, uh, because this is working. So, and it's been over a year, so, thank God. And uh, he's doing fine, and he hears. Now, he doesn't hear great. When we call him, we have to talk a little bit louder. Uh, <clears throat> but, you know, if I was to call him and he was outside... I don't have to yell it, but I have to be loud. He'll hear me. He'll come in. You know. All right, so here's what we're going to do. i got to get a couple of uh, carriage bolts. I do. Just in case. Okay. Now, is this the right size? That's close. That's all I need. It's close. Okay, so let's drill a couple of holes here. Uh, I don't care if the bottom splits out a little bit, but uh, I could put something under like that so it doesn't split out. Carriage bolts are going to sunk right up underneath there anyway. I'm actually going to probably see if I got a little counter sinker that I can use. But I want these to suck, suck down so that it's not going to be too unstable. If I have to put two over here just to waste them, I will. Or put a couple pieces of wood stand it off a little bit, but I'd rather have this as close to the bottom as possible. All right, uh, let's see if I can counter 
think I'm without. This may help. This may help. I was actually looking at a set of these the other day. Now this isn't quite the size of the head, however, it gives me a little bit more of an opportunity of the carriage bolt being pulled in when I tighten it up. Yes, we do have a game plan here. We do? We do? If we take this little puppy here, that's going to be close. Let's see if we can tap it in. It's only wood, so we should be okay. Maybe a little bit bigger. <laughs> I thought that was the size. Oh, it will be. I just do a little reaming. To get the size open a little bit. Come on, don't tell me here. Yeah, you're going to be a pain in the ass now, aren't you? I hold that bit. Let's see. See, what's good about this is if I screw up, I can just put it over on this side. That's all. here. Wait a minute, I don't want that side up. And here's the other thing. Do I want do I want this there? Hmm. If I do I have to make sure that I put the other side up. Because that's got a lip on it. When I stamp it down, and I don't want the lip upright, I want the lip down. I don't want it to start catching the other piece. We're expecting some heavy uh, snow and or rain or both um, starting tonight, I think. Uh, I mean, what they're saying is, anyway, they're saying all of Connecticut is going to get it. <coughs> so we're up north more <coughs> on the other side of the <coughs> 84 91 corridor up that way um, it, they can see up to 10 inches of snow the rest of the state uh, is going to see uh, up to 50 mile an hour winds maybe a little gust of more every now and then with uh, a minimum of two inches of rain. So. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to I'm going to put these on. <coughs> Just got to make sure that I have the right side down. Okay. Now, do I want to put a set of these here, which is going to lift all this, or do I just want to have it there, there, and put another set of washers on the top? You follow me? And not have the nuts down there. But I am going to put the nuts on here for now, because I want to tighten down on those, so those carriage bolts will pull up. I think, you know what, I may do that. Yes, I think I will do that. All I gotta do is find it. And I think I know where it is. But let me take care of this first. Couple there that look like it would, the wheels I'm on now, that look like they may work. And I said to them, do you have them in stock? Oh no, but you can order them. Well, I really don't want to order them to find out. That they're not the ones, you know. Oh, well, you can always give them back or send them back. Yeah, well, okay, like I got time to waste. I mean, I do, but I don't. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, this, you have any measurements on it? Well, whatever we have on the internet. Well, come on. Can you get any ruder? Okay, now we might drop them all over the floor. You hear it? Well, it made a lot of noise, so it should be something. Sound, sound like metal of some sort. No, apparently not. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? There's something down there that doesn't look close. There it is. That's the old axe head. Now, are those pulled up enough? Yeah, they are. Good. Now, let's take them off. Okay. I have a metal bracket that like almost adjusting an alternator on a car. Possibly. Okay, so that goes there. That one goes there. And that's gonna go there. Okay, let me speed this up a little bit. Yeah, that's off. The, the band saw, forget about it. Besides, I couldn't get in there anyway. 